downtown Toronto, we've reached the guaranteed high of plus four degrees. 680 News John 203. Residents of a North York high rise that was the site of a deadly fire last month are raising concerns about safe living conditions after they were asked to move back in following that fatal fire. 680's Michelle Mackey joins us live with details from an emergency press conference held earlier today. Michelle. Caitlin, many displaced residents of 235 Gosford Boulevard who have been living here at the Saybridge Suites are packing their bags and returning home. But Green said the lawyer representing these residents says the danger has not been extinguished with the flames. Where you have a five alarm fire, and we know that synthetic fibers, plastic, metal, wood products were burned, that foot can travel not just in the proximate area of the fire, it can go through the HVAC system, it can go through the floors. One resident has exclusively shared a release with 680 News that she says she is forced to sign every time she enters her unit. It reads in part, the tenant acknowledges that they are entering a property that has been the subject of a serious fire and that there may be hazards and other as yet unknown health and other safety risks. In a letter, the City of Toronto says they are aware of a report that noted no concerns were found following air quality testing. That report has not been shared publicly. Live in Woodbridge, I'm Michelle Mackey. 680 News Time, 205. Peel police are investigating after a disturbing discovery in Mississauga this morning. Two men were found suffering from stab wounds outside an apartment building near Winston Churchill and Dundas. One of them died at the scene, the other dying in hospital. Peel police constable Sarah Patton says there is no concern for public safety. It's understood at this point that an altercation took place between these two males at the residence. In turn is when they suffered these stab wounds. So it currently Currently, we are not looking for any outstanding suspects. We are still interviewing witnesses and checking for video surveillance. One of the victims believed to be in his 20s, the other in his 40s. Police say the pair knew each other but were not related. Anyone with information is asked to call the Peel Police Homicide Bureau. York Regional Police have identified the suspect accused in connection with a 12-hour standoff with police in Richmond Hill yesterday. 34-year-old Anosh Urban Shirizade is facing several charges, including attempted murder. It's alleged Shirizade barricaded himself in a home in Richmond Hill after he allegedly opened fire at a police officer at a gas station. A number of nearby homes were evacuated as a result of the standoff. The special investigation team it has invoked, invoked its mandate and the suspect was taken into custody late last night. No injuries were reported. A 22-year-old man is in critical condition after he allegedly jumped onto the back of a white cube van. Police and paramedics were called to the O'Connor and Don Lands area just before 2.30 this morning. They arrived to find a man unconscious. Paramedics rushed him to hospital in tr uh, critical condition. Police say they would like to speak with the driver of that cube van and are asking him or her to come forward. Any witnesses are asked to contact police. 680 News Time 206. It was a somber night in Oshawa as dozens attended a candlelight vigil to honor a local rapper. Malia Sheikh of City News was there. The vigil was held at the same housing complex where the rap artist, whose real name is Shakur Stewart, was found shot to death in the early morning hours of Christmas Eve. Bully was known for his hit song, No Light Bag. He was 24 years old. He would bless me if I asked him to. Even if he wasn't there sometimes, sometimes I would still love him even if he's not there. And along, only if I keep him in my heart right here, I'll, he's still going to be with me. No arrests have been made in connection to his murder. 680 News Time 207. While the weekend is looking beautiful, conditions will rapidly change by Sunday afternoon due to an incoming ice storm. It will bring heavy rain, freezing rain, and even snow to some areas. Our meteorologist Jason Fraser says several parts of the GTA will not see a break from the precipitation until late on Monday. We will, however, get a break uh, from some of those rain showers likely on Monday afternoon. 
but that same system likely Monday night into Tuesday will give us some, some snow flurries. Wouldn't be surprised to even see some accumulation upwards of five centimeters. But depending on how slow the storm moves, we could see areas where some of us could end up seeing 10 and even 15 centimeters. This will make surfaces extremely slippery, which raises the danger for drivers as well as people walking on sidewalks and parking lots. We will have all the details in the extended forecast at 221. They've been featured in famous downtown Toronto photos for years. And as of tomorrow, they're officially getting taken off city streets. The TTC's old streetcars are running for the last time this weekend. If you're looking to catch one, there are about eight running along the 511 Bathurst route today. Tomorrow, two of them will run along Queen between Bathurst and Greenwood between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. The old models have been running in the city for more than 40 years. And the Raptors were awarded with a little well-earned hardware today. Now, it's not quite as good as the Larry OB. It was announced today the Raptors were named Canadian Press Team of the Year, earning 61 votes in a poll of writers, broadcasters, and editors all across Canada. Tennis star Bianca Andreescu captured the Bobby Rosenfeld Award for Female Athlete of the Year earlier this week, while mogul standout Michael, or Mikhail Kingsbury won his second consecutive Lionel Conacher Award. Coming up in 30 seconds, we'll check the prices at the pumps. 680 News, John 209. Happy Holidays from 680 News. Catch all the excitement of your favorite slots and table games at Casino Woodbine. Sign up for a free One Rewards membership today, and you could be eligible to get your first $250 on us. Need a lift? We've added new Toronto shuttle bus routes that will take you right to our front doors. Must be 19 plus. Rewards membership required. If you gamble, play smart. Casino Woodbine. Toronto's home for gaming and entertainment. Now the 680 News gas price update. Enpro predicts the price of gas will stay the same at midnight, holding at just under $1.20 a liter. 680 News, John 210. There are lots of ways to treat your cold symptoms. You can carry around a spoon and syrup. No. Uh, or try alternative methods. Um, how about those lozenges? <laughs> Why not drop all that for a different way? Cold Drops, just one drop with a naturally sourced ingredient for temporary symptom relief of cough, sore throat, and nasal congestion. Relief with just one drop, Cold Drops. For a retailer near you, visit colddrops.com. This product may not be right for you. Always read and follow the label. Let's consider for a moment some internet holiday deals you might want to think about. Uranium ore. Madagascar hissing cockroaches an umbrella hat, or how about a great holiday deal you don't have to think about, like the Bring Home a Honda event. Lease the redesigned 2020 Honda CRV LX from just $90 weekly at 4.99% and zero down. Includes straight fees for 60 months, taxes extra OAC, see hondaontario.com. Bring Home a Honda, no thinking required. 680 years done, 211. Traffic and weather together on the ones. Here's Christine Lango. This report is brought to you by Nikon Canada. Southbound 404 Don Valley is heavy approaching the 401 to south of Lawrence. And now it's jammed at the bottom end from Queen to the Gardner ramp because we have a crash on the westbound Gardner. It is blocking the ramp to Young Bay, York. So that ramp is blocked altogether. Westbound Gardner is jammed from the DVP over to this ramp. It's also taking up the right lane on the Gardner. So only the left lane is getting through. A westbound Gardner is jammed from the DVP over to west of Jarvis to the Young Bay York ramp, which is blocked. For an area bound QEW, delays approaching Nikola Tesla to pass Fruitland. And that trouble on the westbound 403 at Upper Middle has cleared away. It's still heavy from approaching uh, Dundas, but that's starting to ease somewhat. On the eastbound QEW, a slowdown through third line. It's busy from Trafalgar to uh, Ford Drive, approaching Mississauga Road to Dixie. On the eastbound 403, that's heavy from the QEW ramp to east of Dundas. Westbound 401 is slowed down from Thixon to west of the 412. From Leslie Express, Bayview Collectors to Avenue Road, approaching Islington Express to Dixon through Mavis, and from the 407 to Trafalgar, it's getting busy. On the east 401, it flows through James Snow Parkway from Winston Churchill to Mavis. Still had this crash on the eastbound 401 collector ramp to the 400, blocking the right lane. Heavy going from the 427, and delays on the eastbound 401 from Salem to east of Brock Street because of repair work in the left lane. Snap up a boxing
seven-week bargain on Nikon DSLR cameras and lenses. Right now, save up to $800 during the Capture the Savings event at your local Nikon authorized dealer. Your next report is at 221. And now with a check of the forecast, here's Jason Fraser. Mostly clear right now across the region, and we're seeing lots of sunshine, but this is only going to last for another couple of hours. And as the evening progresses, that's when we will continue to see increasing cloudiness across the region. And this is on the edge of a massive low pressure system that is moving across not only the Plain States, but also portions of Western Canada right now. Now, this is going to give us lots of rain showers throughout tomorrow, and some of us could even see some freezing rain. And I think north of Toronto, that's where we have the greatest risk of seeing some freezing rain showers. We'll also see some winds gusting between 40 to 50 kilometers per hour. The high temperature tomorrow is only going to be about 3 degrees. Right now at Pearson, it's 5 degrees. Our overnight low is minus 2. 680 News, John 213. A Guelph man is facing charges after police say he attacked a 20-year-old woman. They say it happened early Friday morning while the woman was working at a local business. They say she was able to escape. The suspect was arrested not long after. A 30-year-old man is charged with sexual assault, committing an indecent act, as well as two counts of breaching probation. The woman was not injured. 680 News, John 214. This awesome week at Rogers, you can unwrap more during the Wrapped in Red event. That means more of our greatest offers of the year. Like buy one, get one when you activate two lines with the Samsung Galaxy S10 and the Galaxy S10e. Infinite data you can share when you get them both on select two-year Rogers Infinite plan. And more wireless listening with premium sound when you get a pair of Samsung Galaxy Buds free. Get twice the night with Samsung Bogo and free Galaxy Buds while quantities last. During the Wrapped in Red event, on now at Rogers. I'm off the medications and I feel great because I lost the weight that was making me sick. And you can too. I'm Pat Carano, a 51-year-old accounting professional from Woodbridge. Sleep apnea, sciatica, I had it all until I lost the weight and kept it off with the team at Harvey Brooker Weight Loss for Men. Don't miss 20% off 2020 memberships. New members only. Call now, 416-222-9887. HarveyBrooker.com. If you could do it alone, you would have done it already. This is all news radio. 680 News. We've got a partly cloudy sky. It is 4 degrees, feeling like minus 1 with the wind. Good afternoon from the 680 News Broadcast Center. I'm Asher Ross. And I'm Caitlin Lee here with the top stories this hour. Not so fast. A lawyer representing some of the residents displaced by the deadly fire at 235 Gosford Boulevard says her clients fear property managers are rushing the reoccupation process and is...